Hello all. Um, I'm going to be taking you through a Microsoft Teams tutorial today from the very start of setting up Microsoft Teams on your, your laptop all the way through to the end of a lesson and you taking part and being able to question um, uh, your teachers and receive answers and feedback for the lesson. Um, these lessons will be recorded. They will be then put on to show my homework and hopefully this new system of live lessons taking place from Monday the 8th of June will enhance the learning experience that Albury Academy can offer you during these very difficult times. By now, you'll have downloaded um, the Microsoft Teams icon onto your desktop, just like mine. I'm just going to select it, which is the starting process to get in live lessons started. Um, the first thing it'll ask me is enter your work school or Microsoft account. And you'll see here already it's picked up my school email address, which is patrick.driberer at albreyacademy.org.uk. There are lots of students in the school who come to me and say, sir, I can't remember my school email address. This part here would be their username that they log onto the school um, computers when they are in school. It's also the same username that they will use for show my homework. Um, when they access that. It's vital that after they've got their username, they then put at albreyacademy.org.uk. I'm just going to sign in now, having put my email address in. And Microsoft Teams um, will take a, it'll take a short while just to open up. And here it is. You can tell I teach maths and I'm part of the maths team um, department. Um, that probably won't come up on your machines. Um, I hope not. What will come up is it will come up this left hand side bar. Okay. And the real important area for us right now at Albury Academy is the calendar. What we have asked staff to do is we've asked staff to set up lessons 24 hours in, a, in advance of the lessons taking place. Um, and they will put these in for you um, between 10 and 11 o'clock each day is what we've said as of Monday, the 8th of June. You'll see today I've got a demo live lesson and that's been set up by Mr. Long in, in the school. So I'm just going to click on that to have a look what's in there. As I open up the lesson, it tells me the date and it tells me the time of the lesson. It also gives me some options at the top. What I'm going to select on to begin with is this chat function that's just here. So I'm going to select that. And in there, you will see various things that have been put in there. Algebra changing the subject is the resource that Dave, who's teaching me, has uploaded ready for me to look at. Now, what I can do with this resource is I can have a look at it prior to the lesson. So I know what is going to be taking place during that lesson um, that day. What I'm going to do is, just as I would, I'll click on the three dots and it will say more attachment options. I click on it and it gives me open online, download, get the link. I'm going to download that so I can have a look at the resource that's going to be used during my lesson in advance of the lesson. So when, for example, I've got my year 10 class and I say to them, right folks, can you go to question four in your pack? They'll be able to go to that question and be able to access that resource and the question that I'm referring to during the lesson. So I just download it and I could put that in my desktop or in a folder or whatever I've got my computer organized to, to have it. And I download that with a file. As I've said, that's in the chat area of Microsoft Teams. Okay, so I'm just gonna come back out of there and go to um, the calendar, go back into the lesson. Um, I'm now gonna join the lesson. It's 10 o'clock on one morning. So I'm just gonna join the lesson. And I'm given the following video. If the video icon comes on and you can see yourself, what we ask is that you just turn that off. You'll also see a microphone and we'll also turn that off. And I know what you're going to ask me, but how can I join in? My microphone's off. I can't talk. Well, we've got a system that I'll explain later, which is just a hands up approach that we're asking all students follow during these lessons, because clearly we do not want 20 children talking at any one point during a lesson. So what I will come on to in a couple of minutes is just how you will ask questions to your teacher during that lesson. Now, I've turned both of those off. I'm now going to join the lesson.
It'll tell me my speakers are, mu are muted. I'm just going to close that because I do want them to be muted. And you'll see the video is off because it brings up the initials. And that's what you will see during your live lesson. Apart from the fact you will also see me or whoever it is delivering your lesson at that particular time. Now, before I start going through the, this toolbar here, I want to just say this. At the start of every Microsoft Teams lesson, your teachers who are delivering have been told to, to um, inform you that every lesson is going to be recorded. Okay, they will tell you, right, class, it's the start of the lesson. I'm just going to click record. When they click record, you will be asked for your consent to the lesson. And that will come by the following. Recording has started. This meeting is being recorded. By joining, you are giving consent for, you, for this meeting to be recorded. Because you are in year 10 and you are over 13 years of age, you can consent to being part of this lesson. Okay, more information is available on the school website regarding this. But to do that, all you have to do is just click dismiss and that will enable you to say, I'm consenting to being part of this lesson. The reason we're recording the lessons is we will upload these videos onto Show My Homework to enhance the learning experience you are receiving and support you with your independent learning at home. Now that I'm in this lesson, um, you'll see that the page has just gone to here. I talked about this toolbar. This toolbar enables me to see the time of the lesson. It tells me it's being recorded. The camera, I've turned it off. The microphone, I've turned it off. And it gives more actions, which we won't need any of those during the lesson. What I will need is these three. Okay, so I'm just going to hover over the first one. And that's my raise my hand. So just like in a lesson, if I said, right class, who's got an answer for question four? We'd raise our hand. You can press that button. And that indicates your hand is raised. It also informs the teacher who is delivering the lesson that you have put your hand up. It also tells the teacher which order the hands have gone up in that particular group of students. In the next bar along is show conversation. And that is a track of everything that is taking place during the lesson. Okay, gives the resources, it tells you it's being recorded, and you can type in a message. To give you a bit of information, on every lesson you may only see myself, but attached to me is also another colleague of mine who is there to support me in the lesson. They are responsible for muting students at a particular time and unmuting students when they need to speak to the teacher. They are also res responsible for responding to any queries you may have and you can attach that in the chat area of there, which is accessible by the second one along, which is the chat function that Microsoft Teams offers us. So I've gone through the hands and I've gone through the, hide conversa uh, the, the chat conversation. The next, you can have a look at show participants. That then tells me who is in that conversation. It also tells me that Pat Driver has put his hands up in that lesson. So you can see who has got their hands up during the lesson and we can see who is there. The reason that we have this is teachers are instructed at the end of a lesson, they will be using this to take registers during it and we will be monitoring attendance to our lessons that are taking place online. As I've said, this is here to enhance your learning experience at Albury Academy during these difficult times. That's everything that I wanted to go through today from the very setup of the lesson to actually being part of the lesson. If you have any questions regarding remote learning and live lessons, please just drop me an email. My email address is again patrick.drybra at albreyacademy.org.uk. I want to say a massive thank you for taking your time and watching this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. I just want to wish all of you at home um, the very best and I hope you're staying safe. Um, take care all. See you later. Bye-bye.